Yeah, good afternoon and uh, welcome to my Gunzari live. So we're going to have uh, a different uh, broadcast this afternoon and it's going to be about business. So on my Gunzari, apart from talking about politics and uh, what is going on in Nigeria, uh, we do also encourage, uh, one sec, I'm going to bring some thoughts about uh, you know, the business opportunity that you can be part of and at the same time help your finances uh, from anywhere or any part of the world. So we'll be doing that in the next uh, an hour and then uh, we'll be listening attentively, you know, uh, to my guest. His name is uh, Stephen and he's going to be part of us uh, soon from the United States. So Stephen Akintai, your consultant, uh, will join us any minute from now. So please share the broadcast, invite your friends, eh? learn one or two things about uh, business. Uh, you know, it's not just going to be about politics and politics and politics. Opportunity, uh, you know, are pumped. And only those who manage to see them surely uh, get to uh, use them. So my goes diary, you will have the opportunity this afternoon. Good afternoon, my brother, sir. Hey, how you doing, the general? I'm all right, <laughs> you know, surviving. It's good. I was it's good. I was intrigued. Yeah, I'm fine. It's good. It's good to see you uh, again. Uh, if you can just help uh, position you. your camera so that you know we'll get to see your face uh, boldly. Uh, yeah, at the center. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's perfect now. I, can you see it well? This yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. So you are welcome, uh, Mr. Stephen. Thank you. So this time around, we decided. Thank you. To, uh, to let them uh, hear from you directly this time around without uh, adding some other uh, materials and all that. So we'll direct them to your website. Uh, this is going to be the part two mm -hmm. of our last discussion. So today, mm -hmm. uh, you said you are going to be taking us through uh, estate management and then uh, properties, uh, is it properties management and all that. How you can mm -hmm. do business opportunity in this area without having uh to mm -hmm. go and uh, break bank or you know before you can start <laughs> so let's start with you uh, yeah uh, quickly In introduce yourself again for those who are seeing you for the first time and then uh, we start okay we stopped okay guys um amazing it's great to be here my name is steven akintai i'm the mbc of g text homes and um, today, again, uh, the last time I was here, we looked at about five business opportunities you can do on the internet uh, and make good income for yourself. Uh, maybe the general at some point will give us the link for those of us who didn't watch that. You can go watch it uh, and learn a thing or two from that. So today, we want to focus more on real estate. How can you go into real estate? How do you invest in real estate? And I'm going to be teaching about six ways to make money from real estate. Okay, six ways to make money from real estate. So the first one uh, is, and if you guys are excited, come on, type, I'm excited. And feel free to share this video uh, with your loved ones, with as many people as possible. I love this platform because we always talk about politics. We always talk about making Nigeria better. But uh, like I said the last time, we also need to talk about capacity development. Now, if you have not built a three-bedroom apartment, how can you build the whole nation? How can you start doing railway construction, uh, uh, road construction as a governor, as a senator, as a president? There's a role of capacity development in all these things we're also talking about. And like I was saying the last time, not understanding the place of capacity development before going to politics has been one of the reasons why mediocrity continues. Uh, and I shared also how I believe that it's good for Nigerian youth to take over and to take Nigeria. However, many of us also need to build capacity. Some of us should start going into business. We should start doing things. I mentioned about uh, MK Abiola how, why his candidacy was very much accepted because that man was an entrepreneur, was a man who moved himself from zero to hero. Mm. You know, Kola Abiola will tell you growing up how, you know, MKO wasn't rich. Kola knew when they were not rich, when, you know, he would have to take commercial bus, go and wait in his mother's office before they go home. Kola can relate those stories, right? 
before Abiola was able to move himself to where he is today. So many of us are just talking politics, we must go into politics, we must do this. We should also talk about capacity development. How can I go into business? How can I experiment the ideas I want to use when I become a governor, a senator, in my little business, in my little endeavors, in my little enterprise? Uh, and that's why, um, you know, uh, General Mayugun has decided to have me on the show, and I really appreciate him for bringing me for the second time again. So let's go into six ways you can make uh, money from uh, real estate. The first one is you can buy uh, a house, okay? You can decide to buy a house, and when you buy a house and you leave it for a while, of course, maybe you live there. Years later, you can decide to sell the house. And that is one of the major ways to make money from real estate. Number two is to buy a rental property. Now, a rental property is different from buying a house. When you buy a house, you want to live in it. When you buy a rental property, the major goal is to rent it out. And this is one of the good ways to really, really make money from uh, uh, real estate. There are, there are ways you can buy certain properties in a good place, even if you're outside Nigeria, uh, it's even a lot easier to do this. You, you, know, you can buy condos uh, and then get in a place where the amount you are going to be paying for the mortgage is lesser than what people will be paying you as rent. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that, those are the strategies you want to do. How can I get areas that are, you know, very developed, very okay? I, you know, I get in a mortgage and then start renting it out, making far more than what I need to pay for the mortgage, you know, from that rental apartment. Mm. It's a fantastic one. And of course, in Nigeria too, it's something you can do. But if you want to do this in Nigeria, you need to really do your calculation well. This works in service apartment. Nigeria is better to do this in a service apartment structure. Else, you will not get your rent. You know, in, in Nigeria is even from US or UK, right. where in Nigeria you don't pay rent. You just go and use God to beg the person, or go and bring one elderly person, a Jewish, oh, you know, oh, more, yeah. more rent. <laughs> Out of, yeah, and then you beg the man. You may, you may owe you rent right, for two years. That's right. <laughs> but in developed country, you know, that would happen, right? But, but um, if you really want to do rental apartment in Nigeria, it's, it works better in a service apartment. In the case of a service apartment, um, you know, they are providing electricity, that you know, providing even some of the furnitures in the house. So uh, uh, let's, let's, a, assume, a yeah, let's, 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 let's assume now that uh, I living outside Nigeria and I'm interested in investing yeah. in, uh, you know, mm. uh, properties in Nigeria. And it's people like you who are ready to uh, introduce me to which ones are going to be profitable. We know that, uh, you know, estate uh, business can be up, can be down. And mm. you all know the time you target them yeah. and for all of them for different purposes as well. Like you said, for residents or for mm. renter. So if someone like me from uh, UK, for instance, I want to be, I want to invest in uh, real estate in Nigeria, yeah. Uh, what would be your advice and what areas, like, you know, would you advise that uh, I should look into and what do I need to do? What does it take? Yes, the, the area, thank you very much for your question. The area I would advise Nigerians in diaspora is not to, I would not advise you to go into this number one or number two if you are outside Nigeria. I would advise you to go for number three and number four. And I'm going to okay, share. So you're going to tell us about the steps. Yeah. To, I've been hearing one, two, three, four now. Yes. So number three way to make money from real estate is to go into uh, um, real estate investment. Um, so there are companies who are in Nigeria or anywhere in the world who even, you know, look at um, uh, the Trump investment, for example. Mm -hmm. They have this investment program. You're able to invest with Donald Trump, yeah, and then you get a return. So the same thing happened to some real estate companies. You can partner with them and say, you know what? I have 5 million somewhere. I have 10 million somewhere. I have 15 million somewhere. How much can I be, uh, uh, can I give you? And then how much can you be paying me maybe every six, six months or every year? Like, like equity investments, actually... so to say. You, you just uh, join a company, already, mm -hmm. I mean, and already made their company, estate, uh, real estate company. Yes, this is then, like uh... a trust. This is not like shares. Okay. This is like a trust investment. It's not like okay, shares. Please, come clear you are that, just please. putting money. Yes, you agree on a, uh, on a, on a return. Okay. 
So the company will agree with you. This is how much we will be giving you constant return on investment. Okay. But I always advise, if you want to go into this, deal with companies, real estate companies that can back it up with land. Because investment, there's no secure investment anywhere in the world. And sometimes we get deceived by this. You know, we Nigerians, we like guarantee, guarantee. Mm. You know, even in developed countries, they will tell you that you should never tell anybody there's any sort of form of guarantee in an investment because it may work, it may not work. Mm. So what I advise is let them give you some assurance. That is For example, risk, risk, risk if they can pay back you, your you money. your risk. Yes. Okay. If anything exactly. goes wrong, we share the risk. If it goes right, we share. We'll the give you land. Exactly. Yes. Hmm. So the you know we have agreed we'll be giving you this amount of money every year as return. Okay. But if we cannot give you, we'll give you land equivalent for the the uh for that uh, particular money mm -hmm. that you have invested with them, which is even why such real estate trust investment is secure. Because at least if I can't get my cash, I can get land. We have trust companies then I can like go that. And look for how a, I can you just have sell the companies land. like that in Nigeria that, uh, or yourself, because this is your business, right? And uh, yes. you are to give yes. us recommendations, we, we you do know, that reliable too. recommendations that people can look at. So yes, we do say? that. We do that too, people. Yes, we do that too. Uh, I wouldn't want to mention. Uh, any company's okay. name so that at the end of no, the day, you know, one thing we have to clear here, uh, my brother, <laughs> sir, what we have to clear here is that uh, people need to know that you pay for this session. Mayego is also making his own money. Yes. So, which means, yes. uh, you know, whatever you can, apart from giving us information on what to do, recommendations, yeah. at the same time, you should, mm. uh, you know, why you are here is to tell us that, well, if yeah. you are looking for someone, like you don't even know how to go shopping, talk to me. I can help mm -hmm. you. So that's why we are mm -hmm. here. So yes. if you have to mention names yes. for the sake of that, please do. But go ahead. You want to tell us okay. about the steps? Yes. But I, I will I will obviously give my details for those who want to. We are gtexhomes.com. Okay. And you, you gtexhomes.com is our website. For the sake of that, and um, for this ahead. particular, the steps? for this yeah, particular yeah. purpose, since uh, uh, Maigo has asked me to mention, you can always visit our website gtexhome.com forward slash investment. You'll be able to read more about this particular type of investment. Hmm. You know, um, gtexhomes.com forward slash investment. You can read in oh, details yeah. on the gtex homes it has an s gtexhomes.com gtex .com, right yes i've just uh, typed it oh great so you, you can go that, there yeah. and read more about our own our own kind of uh the, the way you can go into this if you're doing with us but there are several other companies that do it i just wouldn't mention them for the sake of uh, you know, so that you don't say you heard it from the me. purpose of why and we are then, here. You know, you I, don't give them free, free exactly. out here, because you are not getting it for free. Yeah, because you know, you know, I I love you know we Nigerians we have this way of it was you that told me to do it. Oh, imagine you remember how MMM worked, yeah. and rather than people doing their research to realize it was a high risk investment, how can a company be promising you thirty percent every month? Hmm. It's not realistic right but a lot of people did it because they are, should do it and at the end of the day even when it went bad it was they will now hold our brother and say and it was you them. that say i should do it too. you know so sometimes when it comes to investment like this i don't like mentioning names so that people don't say it was you that asked me to do it you I go do your research about yeah. companies yes Go do your research about companies that are doing this. Even me, if you want to do business with us, do your research about me. Google my name. I'm Stephen Akintayo. Go online. Go your to our website. Your details on, the, read about on this broadcast as well. Yes, go do your research because it's important whenever we talk about people doing business, do your research about the people you want to do business with. Because a lot of times, many of us just go into investment you know, with a blind eye and we fail to realize that no matter what, you should do your investigation before doing any investment with anybody, mm. even if the person is your brother or your auntie. Part of the investigation you need to do is to ask yourself, how sustainable 
is this investment opportunity. I tell people there are three levels of investment. Now that we're talking about the, uh, this particular cash investment opportunity you can do in real estate. There are three levels of investment, low risk investment, mid risk investment, and high risk investment. So any investment that is giving you between zero to 7%, depend on the country you are investing in, is a low risk investment. Any investment from you know, 10% to 15% is a mid risk investment. But once an investment crosses 20%, 25%, is already high risk, meaning you can lose all your money. Mm. And no matter, and I'm talking about annually now. Mm. And no matter who the company that is asking you to come and do the investment, go into it with just a portion of your money. Mm. So that if you lose it, fine. It's, it's like gambling. I, so I tell people, you divide your investment to three. You put a portion into a more secure one, a portion into mid mid uh, 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 mid risk investment mm. and a portion into high risk investment. So if the high risk one, because the high risk one brings more returns, mm. but at the same time you can lose everything. Mm. So you should structure in such a way where you are putting just a portion, and if you make profit from it, pull it out and put it into other things. Mm. This is very important that we go into any form of investment with this understanding. Mm. Don't say because, oh, uh, um, because the mistake we make is that we always say, who is recommending that investment? Um, uh, is it a pastor? Is it a clinical? Meanwhile, we're not looking at the interest level, the, the risk, risk level. Involved, yeah. Okay? Yes. Yeah, so you should always look at the risk level. How much are they promising me? The more the return, the higher the risk. Mm. Okay? The more the return, the higher the risk. So those are the things you need to look into. It doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. It just simply means that you should only put a portion into it if it's a very high risk investment. But in most cases, if you want to do it like I advise you, let it be the type that they can promise you that if we can't pay your money, we'll give you land. Hmm. At least you now know you have not lost two ways. Yeah. If they couldn't give you cash, you have land. You can keep the land and then later sell it or find a way to sell it right. and get back your money. Uh, you know, so those are some of the things you need to look So into. now let's, let's so come into... One, Hey, in order, in order for us not to yeah. dwell too much uh, on that, because I know you have a five business plans for us in real estate this uh, afternoon. Yes. Yes. So I want to get on with mm -hmm. that. So maybe we should start with that. Okay, good. You know. So we have, we have looked at, um, the first one we looked at, we said buy a house. Mm -hmm. The second one we looked at, we say you can buy a rental property. You know, uh, you can do that anywhere in the world where you buy it as a, uh, a mortgage and then you rent it out and you make sure you are making more from the rental than what you're paying. Mm. Then the third one will say is even good for people in diaspora. You can go into a real estate investment trust mm. where you put in your money and then your money keep working for you because all the rich men in the world, this is one of the ways they make money. Mm. They, you know, they're able to make money while they are sleeping. They put in their money or the company works for them and they get return. Then the fourth way you can also make money, and this is also good for Nigerians in diaspora, is called uh, 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 real estate flipping. Okay, and under this, we have two we have house flipping and land flipping. Hmm. I have a friend, for example, who was able to buy a particular property in Lekki Phase One for 350 million and then renovated it, and in 40 days was able to sell it for 750 million. Wow. It was a house in distress. It was a distress sale. There's something called distress sale. If you're mm -hmm. going to do flip, flipping, you do distress sale. Now, distress sale is when somebody really needs money urgently. And, you know, it may be for health reason. It may be for whatever reason. So the person is ready to sell far, far below the normal price, the market price. of that property. Mm -hmm. Yes, the market price. So you buy it because you have liquid. This one is very capital intensive. So you buy because you have the liquid and then, you know, do one or two renovations, put it back in the market. It's usually, you know, a matter of weeks. Mm. You know, you are trying to make sure you flip it in maybe three months, and then you make almost times, almost 100% of your money back, you move into another investment. Wow. In fact, this particular friend of mine has grown, that 350 million was his initial capital. In three years, he has grown his initial capital to over 5 billion today, just practicing flipping. Wow. And, and then that's for house flipping. Then you can do land flipping. Mm. Land flipping gives you the highest form of returns. However, it takes a little bit more time. Mm. You know, the, the maturity period can take between five to, uh, uh, up to 10 years. Wow. 
okay, when you are going to, into, yes, into land flipping. So how do you do land flipping? You look for areas that are about to develop. Mm. Uh, in Lagos, for example, we have Ibejuleki, we have Ikorudu, we have Badagri, we have Shimawa, which is the outskirts, we have Aton, um, you know, these are some areas that are growing fast, that, you know, things are moving around those areas in terms of construction, in terms of, you know, developments and all of that. You go by those areas now when they are nothing, when the whole thing looks like a bush. Mm. If as we speak today, our company just did a grand opening ceremony for one of our estates in Aton. Our brand ambassador, Laura KG Mesa Ibe, were dead today. Uh, you know, they, are, you know, taking their they to got a land there. Mm. And tomorrow we are doing another one in Ukorodu. So if you are in Nigeria, you can join us. There's free bus transportation from our head office in Ogba. Uh, you know, and you can go for it. I always advise. So maybe you should give us give us give place. us uh, details about that because I think that's yeah. You just dropped something. Yes. Uh, joining you from Ogba yes. to go, you know, free bus to to, yes. to the new you site. Can, that... You can do a mail. Yes, you can do a mail to info at um, gtechsome.com um, or send an SMS to 00 930 uh, And then let us know you want to. Tomorrow, uh, uh, our, our groundbreaking is by 2 p.m. But we tomorrow need to is come Sunday. By 1 is that right? To our head office. Yes, tomorrow is Sunday. Okay. So you, at least after church. So you can just send uh, SMS to that number. Um, you will join Messi Aibe. Messi Aibe is a top popular, uh, you know, Nollywood actress. I know. Uh, Laura Ikeji is a top social media uh, celebrity. Yeah. Um, they are our ambassadors, and you will join them together to uh, see them as they are taking their possession of their own land. Uh, at least get to see the place you are getting. One of the things I always advise when you're doing flipping, see the place. If you can't see the place, get the video of the place, maybe because you are not in Nigeria. Why is this important? Because this helps you to be able to ascertain the status of the place. Hmm. Is it waterlogged? Is it dry land? Like the place we went for White House Estate today now is a dry land. At least when you go there, you see. The one we're doing in Korodu tomorrow is a waterlogged hmm. land. Okay, there's water there. You know, at least when you go there, you're able to see. Even though a lot of people don't know that water area develop faster. Hmm. Okay, I, 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 I gives you more return on investment than... Uh, dry land. You know, those are also another thing. You know, one of the things my brother here that is good with this conversation we're yeah. having, people need education. The reason why people have lost money investing in Nigeria is because of lack of education. Oh, you proper know, information. Don't, don't first hmm. get... A, yes, proper information. The real get education about what you want to Sometimes invest in, you know. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes we say somebody is your consultant, you say he's a lawyer, he himself doesn't even have one plot of land anywhere. Mm. And then you say he's your consultant. I mean, Yoruba, we say, That's right. I always tell people, you know, when you want to invest in real estate, you know, look for somebody who has gotten results in real estate to give you counsel. And I'm open to give as many people counsel. Whether you are buying from us or you are not buying from us, I will later give you how you can reach me in person and we get to do a Skype conversation and just look at your option and give you advice. Yeah. But it's important that you get advice. Don't just say, I'm just buying property and just putting millions and you don't even have an idea. You know, at least, like I said, go see the land. You can join us, for example, tomorrow. Even if you can't make it tomorrow, maybe you are not in Nigeria, you can send your family members or your friend to follow us and take pictures and be there and give you feedback because it's good for you you know, to have an idea and not say, oh, one bar meal, I was duped, oh, uh, this, and at least see where you are this, buying. This issue of land, the picture. Uh, yeah, this issue of land, my brother, yes. is that, you know, is a serious thing, uh, you know, for people who are living outside Nigeria, you know, the moment you start making yes. a little money, yes. they start calling you, family members, friends, mm. associates, and other people, mm. they'll start calling you, come, you better mm. invest your money on land, invest your money on land, if it, you know, and people have lost quite a huge amount of money to this over the over the years. Yes. So but these days people are Very yeah true. people are getting to yeah. understand a little bit better now. And uh, but unfortunately yeah. some of them don't have the capital anymore. But they still love to mm. do this genuinely. So listening to someone mm. like you may rekindle their hope and then uh, possibly inquiries, questions and all that we we'll bring them back. So that's why this is very important for for all of us, especially my friends on Michael's diary here. So please continue. Mm. 
Yes, I, I, I agree with you. Also, the people have been swindled. They've lost a lot um, due to lack of education and information in this area. Mm -hmm. But what I advise is get advice, get consultant, get people to advise you, ask all your questions before you drop any money for say you want to buy any property. But one important thing I also need to state here before I go ahead with other conversation yeah. is that please, please, when you want to do real estate investment, number one, don't buy land for more money. Oh, I just want um, to talk buy, about rather it deal with, <laughs> Yes, rather deal with a credible registered real estate company. And the reason is because if you deal with a company, a company is a registered entity that you can take to court. Mm. The court can even freeze the asset. Mm. Okay, but when you buy from Baba Lati, that eventually just suddenly dies, and then he say he wrote a will, he divided the property between three wives, and then one other wife say it was us they gave the land to, and then the other wife come again and start fighting themselves. There, there's more, little you can really do with that. But when you have done business with a registrar company, you can, you know, if issues don't go the way you want, you can go to court. And I tell people, feel free to go to court. Mm. Right. Once is a registered company. But and that's the advantage of buying land from real estate company. Number two, buying land from real estate company that are credible anyway, uh, because it doesn't mean there are no fake real estate companies. That's right. Is that you also enjoy protection on your land. You don't need to fence it. They will eventually fence the whole estate. Like the one of today now is uh, you know, is already fenced round, you know. So they will eventually end up fencing the whole estate. They will make sure they protect the land for you. Uh, you know, and you will have once you do your documentation, even if it's 10 years later, 20 years later, you get back to the land, your land is there. Yeah, that's because they have bought a larger, uh, yes, expanse of land. So it's their duty to, you know, make sure that they guide the interests of everybody who has invested with them. That's why we call it real estate investment. So when you are doing land flipping, it's an investment. Unfortunately, my brother, mm -hmm. people want to buy in Banana Island, they want to buy Lekki Face One, mm -hmm. they want to buy in Omoli. Magodo, and they don't have the money. They think Nigeria is still that much of a bush, like when they left 20 years ago. Mm. All these areas you are talking about are big places. Let me give you, sorry, for example, some shocking prices. Wow. You will see Nigerians in the diaspora, and that's why they've been duped. We tell you that Mufei Ra Leleko, and then... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. You know, I think uh, our network... Yeah, great. Yeah, you are back. Yeah. Sorry, eh? So you wanted yes. to tell us about no people problem. buying land and then uh, you just froze. So let's continue from there. Yeah. So you hear people saying like, um, you know, I want to buy somewhere in Ikeja or, or Lekki for two million, three million. <laughs> I did. If you are meeting an expert, it will just burst into laughter. Hmm. Because first of all, there is no land in Ikeja that you can get less than 50 million. Wow. I mean, let's get these prices straight up. Mm. If you want to get land in, in Lekki phase one, phase two, you need to have between 100 million and 200 million. Wow. You want Magodo, you need to have about 100 million. So it's because we don't even have an idea of the cost price. That's why people duped us. Mm. So the, I, I remember a story of this woman, she's based in uh, 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 Dubai, and she said she got this place in Aja. For eight million, and I remember I kept telling her, "You can't get a place in Aja with proper document for eight million. He said, "No, it was favor." And you know, we like to spiritualize everything. Yeah, in Nigeria. It's got it was favor. favor. Yeah. It was, you know, God just favored me. You know, those people, I just got it for them from cheap. You know, I tell people, I say sometimes an average Nigeria what is an he wants to scam. Hmm. So it's, it's who scam, who, who first. first. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, and then who is scam, that scream down. Yeah, that is. Exactly. If, if, if would our politicians do the same that to is. us, you know? Uh, <laughs> so, so, I about, so I told her, I said, you can't get lied in a job for 8 million. At the end of the day, she got the place. She was about starting construction when they told her that is under government acquisition, mm. that a big express road will be passing through, through that, that same, same land. place. So she came back. <laughs> yeah, that's the place she got, and she paid a lot of money for. So she got back to Mr. TV. What is Bambio? What is Bambio? I said, Look, what are you? You know, I said, What are you talking about? I told you hmm. that you can't get somewhere in a job for 8 million that has C of O, that is proper documentation. Hmm. 
you know, and, and this is very, very important that we get all this conversation correctly and these issues are very much discussed and properly. People you well know, educated uh, about uh, them, uh, you know. Yeah, it's yes, know your pricing. Mm -hmm knows how, how much it costs and all of that. Another advantage, really, the estate will eventually do road. It may take five years or 10 years for them to do that, but they'll do road, they'll do lighting, they'll do... So with all this advantage, you're a lot, you know, at, at good proportion in terms of being able to do business with a property, mm -hmm. uh, real estate company, you know. Uh, and for me, I think that is one of the good things. So when you do real estate flipping, you buy it, leave it for five, 10 years, and then you sell it. We've had stories of people who bought a land uh, for as little as, you know, uh, um, um, 2 million. And then 10 years later, the property was over 50 million. Wow. Uh, in fact, the last thing we had in Lagos, a man was sharing how he bought a place in Arepo for just 250,000 mm. naira uh, per plot. And as we speak now, each plot is 12 million. In Arepo? You know, per plot. Yes, wow. in, in Arepo years ago. So that's how to practice real estate flipping. So you buy it when the, nobody is even looking at the place, but you know it has future, it has prospect. Let me give you some amazing facts that people do not know mm. about real estate. Real estate is Sogbedi Boru. Mm. It's actually Sogbedi Boru. Um, um, look at um, 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 Ikeja. Many in, in the 70s, in the 60s, many people don't know that Ikeja used to be bush. Opebi used to be ritual killer's den. Mm. True story. In fact, when Jack Conde was building all this MQ Abiola garden in Ikeja, a merciful servant who said they used to laugh and say, who would go and live with Jack Conde in that bush? Mm. I'm telling you, the city of Lagos used to be uh, Uju Elegba, Mushin, uh, you know, uh, Surulere, Yaba. Those were like the main city of Lagos mm -hmm. that people used to say, yes, we are in the city, you know. <laughs> you know. But today, uh, uh, those places that it used to call Bush, that's why they situated the airport in Ikeja. It was all Bush. That was where there was land, mm. you know. So all Bush. Today, look at what Ikeja, that same Ikeja has become. Wow. So I tell people that you cannot make money in real estate if you don't have foresight, if you don't have vision. Wow. If you don't, and, and these are some of the things that a lot of these pastors realize earlier and have taken advantage of. Do you know that Redeem Camp that you know today was bought for 6,000 Naira? I remember. For the major first set of acre. I remember that. Yes. I even know 6,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. Today they are everywhere. Yes, 6,000 Naira. They are more than a whole city now. Yes, you know, 6,000 era. The same thing uh, 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 Pastor Paul Adifarasin did where their church is now. He bought that whole place for about 10 acres for 25 million. Mm. 10 years later, that place was worth 3 billion. Wow. 10 years later, I'm telling you. So, you know, it, it's again for me, one of the things I say is unfortunate that a lot of pastors don't share some of these things. You know, they, they just only teach us how to go to heaven or pray for us or kids, which is. But they the know some business, things when it comes the real to real estate side business. of it. They are not teaching it. Yeah. Telling their people they, that and listen, they are members you have money to... now. Go into yes. real estate. In, in 10 years, in 15 yes. years, you're going to love yes. it. Keep your money. Do this. And yes. I mean, today we have richest, yes. you know, church members and all that. No. Now let's come back to our our, our discussion on, uh, you know, how to you know, yes. be part of this and all that. Uh, you know, so we've heard of... Uh, flipping property flipping land flipping and then uh, all these things require huge investments on its own i've heard 100 million you know millions and millions and all that and i know that our uh, real target are those who knows that real estate is a real business uh, investment and they just need the guidance the information on how to go about it you know what i mean now so what are the other variables what are, what are other uh, you know other other chances of still being part of a real estate uh, business, you know, without bringing in so much uh, money, like you, you know, because sometimes you can you can actually attract these investors without being without holding so mm. much money yourself. I want to believe that, and it's your area. So, without bringing in the yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention two areas now that you can also do. Number one is you can do what we call flexible uh, um, interest. Okay, you can do. Uh, I mean, sorry, flexible payment. Mm. One of the ways all of us have uh, been able to acquire property 
was not by having so much. It was to start small, small. Yeah. Um, you do flexible payment. You know, a lot of times, even those of us who have estates, it's not as if we paid all the property at once. Mm. It's usually you pay in installment. Mm. And you too can do the same where you look at, particularly when you're dealing with real estate companies. So the land is, let's say, $2 million. You can tell them, can I be paying two two fifty five five hundred dollars $500 every month mm. till I finish paying? Okay, uh, and that's really one of the ways to build wealth. What you will realize is that by the time you are done paying, the value of that land had even gone up. That's right. So what you started with are two million, and they will peg it for you. Once you start doing the flexible payment, they will peg it for mm. you. Meanwhile, by the time you are done paying, it will have amount to maybe five million. Mm. We, I know some of our customers in our Ibejileki property who started paying when it was two fifty. I mean, um, two point five million. Right now, it's currently 8.3 million. Wow. And they just finished paying. Hmm. And they just finished paying. So others who are just paying now are having to pay 0.3 million. Meanwhile, they actually paid 2.5 million and they spread it for almost two years. Wow. So you can work with some companies and say, look, can you allow me to be doing this thing gradually? You know, so there are processes to it. You do them in mail and all of that. But you can, you can do that. And it's one of the good ways to gradually begin to secure. It's also a safe way because at least you are also checking well, how do we, in how that do we course of that two years. How do we differentiate between reliable companies and those that are not, that are, you know, that are frauds? Because people are afraid. I've had people, I've had people uh, pay into a scheme like this before. And then uh, when it's time for them to get their C, I mean, CFO, they've paid all, you know, you know, they've done all of that, but only for them to be, to realize that, there was no company selling the land. It was all mm. fraud and the rest that's, of that. So how that's, do we differentiate? That's how can we one recognize? Of the, what do we need to do? No, one of just the major ways you, is, you know, who, because this is what you do. They, 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 why, why, why? Yeah, if, they're, if they're you're they're trying to send us on the face right now, why don't you just go to that direction yeah. now? That Okay, if you want to do this, this and this and this and that, what you need to do, talk to me. Let's do that. Okay. So um, you guys can feel free to visit www.gtexhomes.com. That's our website. Um, you can send email to info at gtexhomes.com. Uh, That's right. Okay. And you can call during Nigerian work hours at 80 930 75 9 Okay. 80 930 9 um that's uh official so i'm number. going but to I'm, calling the US. I'm going to pin that number for those who might want to call uh yeah the number is on the screen yeah. 080 yeah for inquiries yes. yeah i'm calling the us i mean uh i like you know a lot of those who were around the last time know i do a lot of trainings i'm in houston at the moment mm -hmm. from houston we're going to um Atlanta, then New York, um, then Maryland, then the, I'm coming to London, then Dubai. We're doing lots of training. That's right. How people can empower themselves and make money. Uh, so if you're in Houston, you can meet me or you're in uh, Atlanta. We can even get to talk one-on-one -on -one, um, or any of these other cities, New York, uh, Maryland, London, um, or Dubai. I have several trainings I do. Uh, or you can get to book an appointment with me on Skype. Um, you know, so I've, my U.S. number at the moment is uh, plus one six four six four two three two seven three three one seven plus one um, six four six four uh, two seven three three one seven. Or do me a mail info at stevenarkital dot com. Yeah. I think all that has been given to you, and those are my social media handles. Yeah. Uh, that my uh, my one has done. So you can do a mail and book an appointment. We get to talk, um, look at your options. Why it's important. Please and um, please, if you want to buy land, go to the place, look at the place. If you are not going to, to make it, send someone to help you go to the place so that at least you can see the land like you have said, so that it's not an issue of, oh, I later I realized that there was no company at all. Another way to know a credible company is to go online. Google can do a lot of magic nowadays. Mm. I tell people there are two Gs you need in your life, God and Google. Right? Google <laughs> I, about I like the that. company. So I need two G in my life. Two Gs. 
God yes, and Google. God and Google. <laughs> so Google the company, Google the names of the owner. There must be a face to it. There are a lot of com real estate companies that you don't even know who is the owner. Mm -hmm. Those are warning signs, right? Mm -hmm. Now that you know the owner doesn't mean you should go and be disturbing him every day. And I and I and I and I and uh, personally, this are uh, also one of the issues I'm beginning to get angry with some people about. <laughs> um, that I know the owner of GT Bank doesn't mean every day I will go on GT Bank, uh, uh, share go about your social media and do and be disturbing, or because I know, you know, um, I deal with know that. Yeah, them, you know them. I said I don't reply messages. So sometimes. Hello, with no attachment, they want you know. I don't understand, but uh, we have. Uh, yeah, we have people it can, it can, it can be. It. Yes, it can be frustrating it's because sad. that's why sometimes some business owners don't put their face out there. That's right. But I think one of the ways to authenticate a company is to know those behind it mm. and let them be there. At least you should have social media and do. They should have a, you know. There should be people known in the society. Yeah. I tell people with all sense of humility, I've authored 33 books. You can go to uh, right now. Yeah. So some people have started calling me. I'm, on, I'm using my phone. I know. They started just calling. Uh, that's, that's another thing. That's why I, I thought we could uh, you know, hold on to it before the end. Well, that's to tell you that uh, you know, people are going to get back uh, to you on this. But this before we go, uh, I want to, yeah. uh, you know, take you to another part of this discussion that uh, we might be missing right now, yeah. and which is, uh, yeah. uh, those who are watching us, most of them are not in Nigeria, and they would love to know other mm -hmm. business, I mean, what do you call other uh, investment opportunity in real estate all over the world. Yeah, you know, sometimes they read about these things, they see flyers and all that, but they don't have knowledge about what it takes to take the advantage, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you feel like, Am I going to invest in real estate in uh, America when I don't live in America? Or should I invest in Canada just because the opportunity is there, but I don't live in Canada? So there are people who live in the UK who are so accustomed to buying properties here in the UK. There's a system, there's a mortgage system here that helps them to secure all of that. Mm -hmm. So now, watching you right now, there must be a takeaway for them, like to, 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 to broaden their horizon, you know. Is there any opportunity for them as well in well this? Yes, there are. Um, I, if you want to start going to real estate as a business, the first thing I advise you do is go for training. Get a real estate mentor and, and go through their training program. There are several programs in the UK, in the US, even Nigeria. Uh, I too run several coaching programs. Let somebody coach you. It's not money you need, it's coaching that you need. Mm. Number two, subscribe to be a marketer for some of these companies. Um, we are going to be starting a real estate uh, investment in the U.S. We want to start building houses and all that, even here in the U.S. Mm. But the current thing I'm doing now is going through training. Even though I'm a big guy in Nigeria, but because I want to invest in, in the U.S., I shouldn't come here and feel that, oh, we've done yeah, we know what we are in doing Nigeria. And all that. Mm. I, I can just do it. You know, I'm currently doing a course for $27,000 U.S. dollars year in the, U, in the, in the U.S., mm with a multi-billion dollar corporation in real estate. So it's important to know that it's not money you need. And through that program, I've learned how source of funding, how I can get funding without even putting any money mm. down. So it's important if you want to go into real estate anywhere in the world, first of all, go through training. Then second of all, start by marketing. I have about three properties here in the US I'm currently marketing. Start by looking for some of these companies and say, okay, can I market for you? Can you give me commission? Like we give 20% commission for anybody who market for us. In fact, we've raised millionaires right now from this program, people who are referring people to do business with us. And through that whole process, uh, are able to make you know three million. I hope I'm gonna month. get. Have I hope I'm gonna get referral payment because if people start saying that <laughs> I get my goods diary, I will ask you for my twenty percent. We have a, we have a registration process. Yes, if you register with us, mm. yes, just visit www.gtexhomes.com forward slash ambassadors. Um, that's how to register. Once you are registered, if anybody buy through you, even if you are Mayugu, uh, uh, the Babolo, uh, so I can uh, I can know, go to sleep and make money, world, you know, world. just like yeah. This <laughs> yeah. So once you refer somebody to us, you get a commission. It's called www.gtshomes.com/ambassadors. Mm -hmm. 
you can register. There are three registration. We have uh, the registration for $20, uh, $75, and $150. Uh, you fill in your information. We'll give you a referral link. With that link, you can use to be giving people. And say, OK, talk to them. If, you, if everything works, remember this. Yes. Okay. I'm going to and do that. Get 20%. I'm going to do that. Yeah. And yeah. I'm going to That's encourage many of us here to do that. To because I don't have a, I don't mm -hmm. have a huge amount of money to put into this yet. I know there are there are guy, you know, there are people watching us right now and they are like, you know, thinking like, mm -hmm. well, this sounds good, you know. Maybe I should give it a shot or something. Mm -hmm. So they're going to call you at the end of the day. Yeah. So eventually if the sales wow. eh, happens, remember my 20%. I will be looking for the referral as well. Well, go so, and register. That's what I'm saying. I'm uh, buy you go, go and register. Because some of them if will you not register, follow my referral anyway. So they will follow this video to talk to you. So uh, <laughs> yeah, let's talk more about the opportunity for them if they want to get involved in real estate abroad, mm -hmm. you know, without having to... Uh, be about yes, Nigeria, if you Nigeria. want to get into, if you want to get real estate abroad is big yes. uh, and it's a very big, big business too. Yes. Uh, in the US, in the UK, I, I, if I, one of the things I tell people is that if you live abroad, you need to take real estate investment mm -hmm. very serious. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that many people uh, in the US, in the UK, just focus on $20 an hour a job. Mm -hmm. $30 an hour and are not even looking into the real estate industry in the US or the UK. Mm. And it's one of the ways to become a millionaire literally just like that. What you need again, like I said, if you want to do here in the US mm. or in the UK, just go online and you know, you just write um, Google real estate agency in, the, in your country. Mm. Okay? And then register, go to the office and register to become one of them. But before you now start selling one property, go for their training. Mm. Some of them have trainings. Some of the trainings uh, starts free. Then later they start charging you. Yes, here in the US and the UK. And then, you know, the charges are enormous. Like this company I'm talking, that I'm doing one of their trainings in the US. Uh, it, the first one was free. Mm. Then the next one was 1,600. Then the next one is $27,000. Wow. I don't know which one will be the next one after that. You but know, you know but the target. The education... Yes, but the education you get from that is powerful. Mm. You know, I, I must say this here that I'm disappointed. I, 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 I don't live in the U.S. or in the U.K., you know, but I have four businesses in the U.S. I have two businesses in the U.K. Mm. The first time I came to the U.K. was for training. The next time I came was to register my business. Mm. And it's annoying that you will see people who reside in the UK and reside in the and US. And we don't know anything. They've not registered any yeah, people in 10 years, know. in 20 we, we years. We need to get money. You need to have you this know? lottery money or you need to have this savings. You need to have this, uh, you know, all this something. Then the moment we have this money, we just remember Nigeria. But, but my brother, they said if you want to put something in a book for a black man, you if you want to hide anything for a black man, put it in a book. That's a shame. Our problem is we don't go for training. Hmm. My, my accountant here, in uh, my CPA here in the U.S., I had a meeting with him some days ago, and he told me he went for a training in Austin here. Mm. This training was how you can, you know, get interest at three digit, mm. how you can, you know, get contract from Texas government mm. as a small business, mm. running to hundreds of thousands of U.S. dollars. Can I shock you? It was a free training, and he's the only black guy there. Wow. There were over 200 people. The only black, whether American black or Nigerian diaspora or African, black it was the only the black. Wow. Free training. If you want to hide a thing from a black man, put it in a book. Hmm. The normal mindset, I come into a country, I must get a job. Yeah, you know, uh, you shall money, you know. good job, good job, good job. And we keep doing this job. We are not amounting to anything. Hmm. You spend, you know, the, the, the last training I did in the UK, because I, I do lots of training on business opportunities. Like I said, again, those of you who are just watching us for the first time, go and watch the previous video yeah. we did on my own diary. Family. I'm going to find the video. Maybe we also share it. Yeah. On this. Yes, go and watch. I spoke on five businesses you can do from the comfort of your home and make money. Some people will be telling me they don't have papers. When you're doing online business, you don't need papers. Hmm. Okay, and these are business you can start with less than a thousand dollars and start making millions. I, I the, the other day we even show screenshots exactly, of yeah, students that are mentored mm -hmm. who are in four weeks are making seven thousand pounds. Many of them used to tell me, I'm shocked, Mr. Steve. I never heard of this. But the truth is this quality information is not found on Facebook or on Google. Mm. 
you have to pay for it. Mm. The fact that, you know, today we are able to hear this for free on My Gun Diary does not mean it always happens. Mm. These are trainings you have to pay for. Mm. And when you don't like paying for trainings, when you don't like, the, the, you know, the same Nigerians who will tell you they don't know the way uh, to start a business. The same Nigerians, when Pasuma is in town, Obesere is in town, mm. you see parties everywhere in London, in UK. Here in Houston is the headquarters of party, in, you know, for Nigerians in diaspora. Wow. You see the same Nigerians spend $50,000 on party. So, you know, you, you say you are doing a I tell people, I say, a wedding is for a day. Mm. Marriage is for a lifetime. Mm. You spend the whole of and this, let me tell you, my brother, the reason why a black man is poor is because he's wasteful. Mm. We need to begin to say something to ourselves. Wow. We are wasteful. As by nature, by default, we are wasteful. Mm. Do you know a research was done in 2014? In Nigeria alone, 495 billion naira was spent on Richard Card by Nigeria, wow. majorly from poor and middle class families. Wow. It showed that they spend more money on Richard Card than toothpaste, mm. than on Maggie, than on tomatoes. Mm. I'm not kidding you. Just doing hello, 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 hello. Bele, jide show wambe, befun yinka, yinka, befun tunji. And for one hour, em, I do talk just hello, hello, mm. wasting money on Richard Card. If, if some of us were to do our, our research right now, begin to write down what you spend money on. For one month, you will know the Agbano that has been doing you. Hmm. You are the Agbano. There's no demon from any village pursuing you to London or to UK. Wow. You are the Agbano that has been doing yourself because of the way you spend money. You see people, even this conversation we are discussing hmm. right now. I remember a story of one of uh, uh, my friend who is also in a realtor. You know, he met this lady in UK. She was saying, ah, you see, Amy only buying she buying real estate investment. And you Nigerians are late trust. Uh, you, you know, I mean, gold, the man rap, you know, at least every month, man, no 5,000 pounds. Man, be two you me shit. You know, and she was, and the guy said, you know, madam, I won't argue with mm. you. Out of this 5,000 pounds, she only my dad 500 pounds, similar. Mm. You know, echo my dad similar. You know, echo that similar. One year later, I'll come back to you and tell you what I've done with the money. You say, okay, no problem. Me, you know, five, you know, five hundred pounds. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> you know how, you know, you know this so high life, it, you know, know we as much. Yes. No. yes. So he started, she started contributing the money into his hand. One year later, he brought a document of one acre of land mm -hmm. that he has bought for her. I'm telling you, this woman now is a top real estate investor. She has <laughs> sold all her trinkets, all her gold. Everything. <laughs> now exactly. she's a believer. You know, because we just keep saying, I tell people, risk is normal. Losing money is normal to becoming an entrepreneur. I have done almost 20 businesses that failed. Mm. I have lost money in my life, but that didn't stop me from doing business. Mm. You know, even before I, I, one of the businesses I did, I said with a thousand, I've grown our company to billions today. Mm. Do we face challenges? Yes, we face. Do we make losses? Yes. It's normal to entrepreneurship. Mm. Donald Trump had bankruptcy four times. That's right. But let me say this. The reason why Africans are not growing financially is because we don't take risk. Mm. Even look at our children, the way we were raised. Hey, my daddy, oh, my daddy, oh, my daddy, oh. Mm. And that's why you are not seeing Africans as scientists. You are not seeing Africans as daring people, as Elon Musk, you know, as the next Bill Gates, as the next, because these are people, look at all these people you admire. Mm -hmm. Even this Facebook who are using, this guy dropped out of school. Can you dare it to your father's house in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. They will, not only will they use Koboko to kill you, they will carry you to Oli, they will wash they your head in the field. river. They would say, man, I've lost a son. I'm yeah, they'll say, well, you are a bastard. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to cast you away. This guy, Mark Zuckerberg, dropped out of school. Not just any school, Harvard. Mm -hmm. Just to say, you have found one business opportunity. Mm -hmm. I'll go and do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And then we'll be like, no, 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 no. So an African man thinks that the best way to become rich is getting more degrees. Mm -hmm. And we pile up degrees. Some of you guys in UK, US, you have three <laughs> masters no. now. PhD. Nigeria has been given the certificate as the most educated immigrants in, in the US. That's right. Can I shock you? They are among the, they are, yet they are still among the least, you know, richest immigrants in the US. Mm. 
the Indians are ahead of us in wealth. Chinese are ahead of us in wealth. Immigrants mm. who are not even talking about, about the Americans there. In wealth. Mm. They're ahead. Because, uh, you know, the even the Pakistanis in the U.S. are ahead of Nigerians uh, or Africans in wealth. Go to some of these smaller stores in the U.S. They are owned by Chinese, Pakistanis, Indians. Mm. In, the, in, in London now, the mayor of London is from uh, Indian descent. Mm -hmm. You know why we can't replicate that, even though our population is massive? Mm. Because we are not united. We must fight ourselves every day. We must abuse ourselves mm. every day. Once one of us start rising, we will pull him down. Mm. You know, one woman was sharing with me in London how there, there used to be a market. I don't know whether you know the market okay. in London by Nigerians. That it was almost like a large pop. You know, big Niger Nigerians had big stores there. Mm. That Peckham you know how is, the uh, market also ran down. For us, uh, you know, in London, that's uh, you know. Yeah. You will be Nigerian. I, so I was told lost, that your lost, lost, uh, I, what you call your longer lost relative. You may find him in London, oh. Yeah, in that area. you were finding me a lot. I used to be, I was told that there used to be this big store, you know, like a market. You would think you're in Balogun, mm. and that they, you know, how they started bewitching each other. Today, you go there, you will see a uh, ritual. Exactly. You know, exactly. they'll put it beside somebody's shop. Tomorrow, they'll put another ritual. I, I'm told today now, those areas have been taken over by Indians. All those things are shut down. Mm. And it's because, you know, we just, you, and I think it's the slavery mentality. That's why, let me say the truth, we still need to be compensated by those, <laughs> those these, uh, to pay, to pay, uh, by to the queen the and her people. For us. You know, yeah, because it's still here in the mind. There's no more physical slavery, but there's still, that, in our mind, it's still there. Mm. A slave, must, you know, you know, in the years of the slavery, you have to fight each other. Exactly. Now to, to, prove, to prove Imagine who is loyal, who is more, yes. or who is more, yes, who is more loyal to the, to, yes, to the master. And we are still continuing that way till tomorrow. Mm. We fight each other, we break each other, we don't cooperate with each other. We are, we are afraid to take risk. You know, I, I tell people I've received yeah, a lot the, of. The reason why people, people don't want to take, take risk most of the time is, oh, what is my if I fail. What is my neighbor going to say? Ah, they will mock me. They will say, oh, you're... And it's time for us to get over that, like you like you have been saying. There's a lot to do together. Yeah, the opportunity is there, and you can't I'm... get there without working yeah. with your brother. So I'm with you on that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, do, do, I always say this. I've not, I have never met a rich man that has not lost money before. Hmm. But I've met plenty poor people that have never lost money before. That's wow. why they never made money. Hmm. I have never, and I'm saying it again, I've never met a single rich man who has not lost money before. Hmm. But I've met several poor people who will say, hey, Amy, I tell people, it takes being smart to be poor. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, that's, that's deep. <laughs> it takes being smart to be poor. Hmm. I'm telling you, you because you are very smart, you know. I mean, you know, I, I hear my own. Here am I on your program. It's a sponsor program we've never met before. I chatted you up. I want to come and talk yeah. about what I do. Uh, and and, and payment, payment was made. You made payment right? without now, saying, if without, the mindset of. Yeah, you made, you made payment without having to be like. Uh, uh, hello, are you there? Yeah, sorry. Again, think, please don't call me. Someone is calling payment. you, there, right? So I said, uh, even at that, yeah. you you saw the you saw the potential in us, and you made inquiry. Then eventually, you even made the yeah, payment without having to say, "Hey, what if they steal my money? What if this or that?" That's and today the, we are trying to run point. that. You know what I mean now? So yeah, that's the that's the point that a lot of us, even after seeing, right? I have over hundred thousand people on my fan page. Hmm. One of the most insulting question people ask me and I don't reply mm. is that how can I trust you mm. and I just be like are you kidding me mm. that should, be, know, the that is, should that be the question can you trust me hmm. I mean so it's, for, it's for that mentality sake. isn't it yeah you see that same mentality mm. you know literally we are so afraid that we even see the right thing up front like this. we see say a show sure. 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 <laughs> Uh, sure. and, and, 
And I tell mm. people, do you know, can I shock you, my brother? Mm. Most of what we call scam mm. has been, behind it was greed. Behind it was lack of research and not a scam. Or in some cases, poor customer service. Mm. I'm telling you the mm. truth. Can I, I'm telling you the truth. And an average Nigerian think you have scammed him because he paid you money and he didn't hear from you for one hour. <laughs> you, are, you have scammed. Hmm. Scam, you want? Hmm. You know what is scam, what is bad. And I'm saying that that mentality is behind the poverty chain we are having. Hmm. Because for you to build wealth, you have to be more open. You have to be more open. I have done businesses with people uh, sorry, one running sec. to uh, 20. Yeah. yeah, sorry. I've done businesses with people running to 20 million, 50 million. I have never seen them before. And I've had people do business with me too, running to 30 million, 50 million. We have never met till today. Mm. And I'm saying that if you carry that mindset, it is you that it is hurting. Mm. I don't know why you understand. I because the day a great opportunity comes, you will still carry that doubting mindset, hmm. you know, to, to the business. And I'll give you an example. It doesn't mean I've not lost money. I've, in my book SMS business that I started with a thousand naira, hmm. 2015 alone, we did over 100 million, you know, consulted for Buhari, but they, you know, Jonathan and all of that. That same year, I lost 10 million to a European company in that same book SMS business. And can I show, shock you, uh, Ms., Ms., Mr. Mayer? I'm with you. I got into... I, I lost 10 million because 10 million SMS were sent. It didn't deliver. My own client, I had to refund them. So I called these European partners I, I had. Hmm. They came to my office. They had tea. They even drank tea. Hello, Mr. Steven, how are hmm. you? And then they brought in paper. I said, we can't do refund. You know, your company had uh, DND. I mean, your country, they, they introduced DND. DND means do not disturb. So MTN just did DND for almost all MTN line. Oh. So when you send message to MTN line, it will not deliver. My own customer asked me to do refund. I was forced to do refund. Hmm. The question Sorry, I, think, I have uh, we, for you, my brother. We keep, uh, Mr. Steven, keep having, you know, you keep having the people calling yeah. and calling. We are the tail end anyway. Yeah. So continue. Yes. So... The, the question I have for you, Mr. Mayogun, if that transaction was between two Nigerians, mm. what do you think will have happened? Ah, Facebook, number one, they will message you. Possibly you are still <laughs> trying to find out how to solve the problem and you are yet to reply. Then they will say, I've been messaging him yeah. for two hours now, three hours. Then the next thing, my brother, they will call <laughs> Mayogun. People like them call me. They say, exactly. Mayogun, see, exactly. I, have a, I have a message for you. There's this 1419. It's very, very popular on Facebook. He's been duping people. They are very good at that. Uh, sorry, I think you are still get uh, you are still being uh, disturbed. Uh, so I don't know. Yeah, Is I think you are still having uh, some disturbance there. You know. So yeah, but I'm hearing you. <laughs> but but you know, these are the things we are saying. We need to start educating ourselves. Mm -hmm. The difference between scam, between fraud. You know, I I I had an experience mm -hmm. where I was on a show like that. And somebody just was typing, don't trust that man, no, he's a scammer, mm. he's a scammer. Mm. So the, my host, after the show, now said, what happened? Mm. She said, I paid their company 120000 for book for a website. Mm. They did not do my website. So I had to call the office and then I researched. So they told me, it was that woman that brought shoe for us. Now, there was this woman, I was in the office, I noticed that my web designer, they brought shoe for mm. him. So the woman was a client. She just brought shoes. And I said, what happened? Said, this guy has done a good job. You know, every time I keep asking him to do something, he's doing it. So I brought shoes for him. Mm. So I said, so what now happened? Now she's calling the me person for was bringing shoes for you. He's now calling me for one He said, the woman kept bringing more content for us to okay, keep changing the website. website. And, our, and our company, yes, and our company policy is that you can change the content twice. Once at the third time, you have to pay for normal. changing the content. Mm. She had brought it five times. That was even why apparently she was bringing shoe that to day. To bribe everybody, make so, everybody feel comfortable. To, to bribe everybody. So at some point, the guy refused <laughs> to do anymore. Oh. So he went on like, don't scam you. I mean, so we, we need to 
to understand mm. the difference. And I think it's because of our political experiences where we don't even just understand, you know, if you have mm. gone to a company's office, they have an office, they have customer care, they have, you can't call them scams. Exactly. If you even think you have issue with them, take them to court. That's right. So, Bubba, I want issue. So, that's why we don't trust each other. So, I'm saying that behind most of the issues, that people normally come say up with is just like bad customer service or miscommunication, misunderstanding through, I get that. Yeah. That we need to just sort out, but our aggressive nature. I remember meeting somebody here in the U.S. He said, you are the first Nigerian I've ever met who is not this aggressive. So you people are too aggressive. Very aggressive. Angry. Angry. We are always angry. Exactly. We are coming from <laughs> Angerland. <laughs> not Nigerland. Angerland. He said, calm down. He said, I used to tell Africans, calm down. Calm down. Because, for example, this real estate we are talking about, if you are going to go into real estate hmm. business and you have a customer Please learn not to be aggressive with them. I'm talking about you are trading in the US and the UK. Mm. Once you get aggressive to a, a real estate customer, particularly when they are white, they are not going to do business. Exactly. With you. They if you like, call it racism. They will not just, you know, being infuriated a bit and being aggressive a bit. You just have to keep being quiet, be patient. Okay, ma. They said, oh, I checked the house. I don't like the painting. Okay. Change the painting before I come back. Okay, go on. Even, you know, go and change the painting. You say you are going to give them a coupon for discount. They will say, you know, I want to see the coupon first yeah. before I pay. You know, don't say, you know, what's wrong with you? I say, I'll give, <laughs> if you just get aggressive, the deal is Or you off. lose it, or you feel like they are being, they are being unruly towards you. They are being disrespectful. Because we have yeah. customers who, are, who can be very disrespectful as well. And if you're having a bad day, Every of their disrespect or whatever will turn to something else to you, and like you said, the anger yeah. and all that. So we're gonna we're gonna bring this uh, to an end. But uh, I always love to have a takeaway, a giveaway. And in this, uh, I mean, at this point, I'm going to uh, uh, you know ask you to give us two takeaways. Number one, okay. uh, you're gonna tell us what it's gonna take to be part of this, uh, you know, uh, as investor or as a trainee. And then, the, you know, stuff, how they can be part of this in Nigeria, how they can be part of this abroad. We know that the world is now like much more closer than before. So which means with all the contact details you've, uh, you know, you've uh, published out there, they will always get to you. But as a takeaway mm. from you directly, how can they be part of this in Nigeria, in the UK, in the US, all over the world? And how they can get to you, and when they can get a hold of you, where and when, you know. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you very much um, again for having me. So, if you want to go into real estate, um, the first thing you want to do is to uh, get somebody to uh, be your advisor or your real estate consultant, give you some tips, give you some ideas, and then you review them and you take your decision. That's the first step. Get somebody who has result. I'm not talking about necessarily being a lawyer. Let the person have result and let the person put you through. Discuss, ask your question, ask as many questions as possible. And that's the first step. Um, you know, and if you want to do this with me, feel free to chat me up. Plus one six four six four two seven three three one seven. Just send me a WhatsApp message with your request and I'll personally attend to you. Um, you know, and give you some ideas. I can even book an appointment to advise you and give you some counsel. Uh, and, and I think that's, um, that's, that's a starting point. Then if you want to do real estate outside Nigeria, look for a credible real estate agency, subscribe to their programs, go through their training courses, and then you can subscribe to be their marketer before you start buying properties. I've met uh, Nigerians here in the U.S. who told me I used to have 10 properties before. And I, I came out, I lost all my money. And, you know, everything didn't work. And I tell people the reason why that happened was because they did not go for training. Okay, so uh, please, uh, I want to beg everyone to first go for training before you say you are going into becoming a realtor. Right, you can make good money in real estate, even in the US and the UK. You can start buying property and flipping them. You can start buying, uh, res uh, uh, um, and get some mortgages and renting them out. 
but don't do it without getting a consultant, a mentor, a training, because that's what we do. We, we Because we have access to facilities, we loan money, we spoil our credit, we just go buy the property, nobody's training us. And I think it's high time that Africans begin to place priority on training, please. Mm. It's high time we begin to place priority on training. And when I mean training, informal training, sir. Okay, we are good with getting degrees, but that era is gone. That was the industrial era. In the industrial era, the more degrees you have, the more promotion you get. Mm. That era is gone. Most industry are, you know, are replaced by robots. Mm. Okay, most workers are replaced by robots. Mm. In this age, information age, what makes you rich is the quality of information you have at your disposal. Right. And usually it's not in the university. Mm. All the big, big business owners that you admire, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, we all drop out. Bill Gates later went back to school. Richard Branson, Sir Richard Branson, never went to university. A lot of people, if I, I still watch an interview recently when he was saying that I was thinking, oh, maybe you should go back to university. And the wife said, my friend, you know, stop that, that thing. <laughs> you like those fine, fine girls. Mm. You know, you want to go and play with all those fine, fine girls. Mm. My friend, get back to your business. Mm. You know, most of the people, you will be shocked that the top corporations that we all admire, mm. the owners were dropped out or never even went to school. Mm. Okay? And so, and the definition of insanity by Albert Einstein is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Mm. Begin to look for people who are entrepreneurs, go and understudy them. Mm. Okay? If they have seminars, go and attend their seminars. Go and attend their training. I'll be in, in, in London on the 27th at uh, St. Pancras Renaissance Hotel. I have a training. It's not going to be free. You can charge me to ask for the details. But start going for trainings. Mm. Informal education. People who have results, let them show you the way. Let them show you the way. Do you know that there's no American president that has ever become a president without understanding another president, including the Donald Trump that we admire, we are talking about today. No American president has ever become president without understanding another one, informally, not by going to school. So the same thing, you can't become wealthy without studying some rich people and you know going under their tutelage and learning the process. For me, those are the sick. I stopped losing money in business when I picked up that rule. Mm -hmm. Any business director will go into, I first get a mentor. Mm -hmm. I will ask him, do I, uh, what do I need to pay? Do I need to pay you in money or do I need to pay you in, in time? Mm -hmm. Paying in time means you work for the person, mm -hmm. right? Uh, paying in money means you pay for you to learn that thing. But since that time, I have stopped losing money in business. Mm -hmm. Look at even Cosmos Maduka, of course, Charles. Cos uh, Cos this is a man who never even went to school before. Hmm. And those who work with him have first class degree. He said, you remember when he was young, they used to call him Shobra. Hmm. At 18, Cosmos became a millionaire hmm. because he understood his boss. He was learning under somebody doing apprenticeship. Now he has more money than even those who have PhD. They are all working for him. So we need to understand that in learning wealth, in learning money, in learning finances, they don't teach it in Harvard. That's right. They don't teach it in the university. You have to understudy somebody else who understand how it is to make money, the processes, and learn from them and be, con be faithful learning from them. They are not going to be perfect human beings. But learn from them, and in no time you will become successful. Same thing has happened to me. All the successes I've enjoyed today in my life, I learned it by understanding people, by you know observing people, by going looking for mentors in those businesses. Uh, some of them I paid to learn from them. Some of them I worked to learn from them informally. Okay, I'm going to do something for you in exchange. You show me this you know business model. And I, my own mentor in real estate, I, I keep saying it publicly. I never paid one error to him, but I taught him really digital marketing. Because mm. I've been a digital marketing consultant. I've had to consult for top multinational, Chivita, GT Bank, name it. And I had to give him that exchange for learning real estate. In fact, incidentally, that's why I tell people, training is what you need. When you go through training, you, won't, you realize that you don't even need money. Mm. Through the help of this man, he had 200 acres somewhere. He gave me 50 acres. Mm. I said I should be paying him as I sell. That was how I started real estate. I didn't start with one era, mm. you know. So, but when you don't go through training, mm. right, you try to do it your own way. You even bring all your money. I know people have lost hundreds of millions in real estate mm. and achieved nothing. That's right. Because instead of 
going to do for somebody and say, okay, let me pay to learn this thing from you. They think they know it all. And, exactly, and that they could manage. They could get through it and all that. Thank you so yeah. much, uh, Mr. Stephen Akintayo. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a wonderful pleasure yeah, yeah. Uh, having you here, even though we, we struggled to get this done at the end of the book. I think uh, we're getting there and I'm having more of my uh, friends here showing interest in business and not just politics. And uh, for the fact that you are, you know, yeah. a Nigerian <laughs> is doing days. And, it, and it's good for you because we need to bring politicians can't pay you to sustain this they platform. Can't. They don't have how much it costs. They don't. To, to, you, know, I know. you know, so we need to have business people invest. And I want to encourage people, you, you can bring your business on my good diet. Thank you very much. Great guys. I like that. So I hope I'll see you again. Somebody said I should repeat my phone number. Yeah, so you yeah, that's a testimonial. Yeah. You, you can, can do that. Though. You can do that. The, we, are the, we are the end of the, you know, of so, the broadcast now. So you can, re, you can reintroduce them yes. to your contact again. For the last time before we go yeah so to reach my company please note again this is a company you are dealing with yes you are meeting the md but it is a company can i'm saying this again now so there are people involved you can call them you can discuss with them you know any discussion with me is not an official discussion except you discuss it with the office if any discussion with me is an advice okay which i am open to give you advice in terms of investment and all of that you know right. you still need to talk to the people in our office and to talk to the, our office info at uh, gtexhomes.com info at gtexhomes.com or call 080 9 our website is gtexhomes.com but if you want to talk to me for advice for counsel which i charge for but i'm going to make free for all of you on my own diary, you know, whatever advice you want as it relates to real estate, uh, I will give it to you. Plus one, six, four, six, four, um, two, seven, three, three, one, seven. Okay. And you can email info at gtex at stephenakintyre.com. Please do this with all form of courtesy, like my own has said. Some mm -hmm. of us also because we feel we want to do business with somebody, we can be so saucy and, and all that. If exactly. Any that, conversation if you want a me, response. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Any conversation with me is a counsel, is an advice. You are hmm. seeking advice. You want to buy land from our company, just talk to our company directly. Send exactly. an email to, to info at digital Zoom, call the office number and talk to them. That's true. Okay. But you, I'm giving you my, my numbers and my uh, my contact details if you want an advice that is oh i want to start real estate in the u.s or uk or i want to even invest in nigeria or me i don't want to buy land i don't believe in this land thing hmm. can i put in some money and get interest if you want to do any of that you can chat me up i'm gonna be i charge for this yes my now a thousand dollars uh because yes there are a few billionaires in nigeria who are open to teaching people and telling people the secrets they have, mm. you know, because I want to share you, even if you want to tell me, Mr. Steve, I want to start my own real estate in Nigeria too, show me the way. I can coach you. I'll give you advice, right? A lot of people don't do it, but I decide to do it because I have a vision to raise 1 million entrepreneurs and I have a vision to send 1,000 kids to school. We are currently doing our bursary program and that is another thing I want to chip here. You know anybody in, in Nigeria from very poor homes? My, my bursary program is on the 8th of September. We're awarding um, some kids, giving them a check to go to school. Last year, we did 150 kids. This year, we're doing 1,000 kids. So just visit the website of Stephen Akintayo bursary, um, stephenakintayo.com forward slash bursary. They are to fill the form, um, you know, and our team, we have a committee in charge and they'll get back to them. Please, you don't need to contact me. Some people have been contacting me for bursary. I'm not in charge of selecting people. I don't want to know anybody. Once they mm. meet their criteria, the criteria, we are awarded. You know, so for I've not, I'm not done. So please, that's why you see me come on pub, in public. A lot of entrepreneurs don't do that's it, right. right? The reason why a lot of this public talk, I'm raising 1 million entrepreneurs. That's my vision. I believe if we want to change Nigeria, we need to teach more Nigerians on business. That's the only way they can also go into politics and run politics like a business. If anybody can run Nigeria as a business, Nigeria will work. Mm. The second vision I have is to raise 
uh, send one million kids to school uh, before I leave this earth. And that's why you're seeing me do this. And please, Lovely. let's not take it for granted. Mm. You know. Thank you so much. Thank. I'm. I'm actually. I'm quite happy uh, to to have finally. Uh, you know, uh, met you and then uh, uh, to do this together. So I hope I will see you um, again. Same. Thank you very much for your time this no afternoon. Problem. You have a beautiful day. You too. Thank you. Thank you Bye. so much. Bye, guys.